Hey everybody, it's James from Naughty Lab out here in West Texas. Well, just another little update to what I've been doing uh, recently. If you've watched any of the videos, which nobody has, which is cool. Um, so I put the fence up, as you can see right there. The fence is up. And then I came through and put up what is going to be the fence line for the permaculture food forest looking at about 75 by 37 ish or say so i didn't make it real tight because uh if you own chickens you'll know anything that's super tight they like to jump up and perch on so which is what they did as soon as i started it i pulled it tight little girl right here right there Yep, jumped right up there and made herself a home. So I left it kind of wobbly. So that's just kind of what I did. Is it right? Yeah, I don't know. Is it functional? Yeah, I still don't know that. I don't know that either. But you can see right here, I put in a couple gates. I put a six foot gate in so I can bring my mower in and still mow until this turns into the garden. It will be here in the future. Oh, it's like 95 degrees today, no wind, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, this is the remnants of my old chicken coop and chicken run. So if you've ever built a chicken coop, you know how fun that is. So what I did, because I just built a new one. So here it is. Let me go ahead and flip you around. See it. So this one, if you're looking to build the chicken coop, this one is five by 12. And a little for less than $200, which isn't too bad. So I put the, wonder what this board is. The wind here in Texas blows like crazy. And typically when it blows out of the north is the winter time. So I'll put that up as a wind block for them. I uh, got the sunshade from the old chicken coop because of where it's sitting right now it's it faces the north the coop does but the door right there faces the west and that setting sun in the middle of the summertime is sometimes 105 110 degrees so I'll give them a little bit of a little bit of shade I uh, got the little chick nick table for eating the vegetables when they're out running around I cut in two doors, one there, so they can access the outside, and then one on the inside, so they're free to go in and out anytime they want. That's temporary water, it's just some PVC, come fill it up every day, sometimes twice a day, with the chicken nipples on it, chicken cups, nothing major. Uh, put a door on it to get inside. There's inside. If you can see it uh, a couple nesting boxes a little ramp perch for them wood chips so oh, come on in and on the bottom here on the chicken poop I put linoleum in there make it easier to clean out let's we'll stick on linoleum ended up being about 40 cents a sheet uh, 12 by 12 I didn't think it was all that bad uh, in the back, have a door for getting them little butt nuggets, and a bottom door for cleaning it out. Uh, it's going to be a water barrel eventually. Uh, this is I'm pretty proud of. So my daughter wanted some chicken lights inside the chicken coop. So what I did is I went to Walmart and found the little walkway lights. They're like pathway lights. They're they're a buck and so and they're solar powered so charges them up during the day and at night they're just enough light to give them a little bit of light on the inside last about four or five hours and they seem to enjoy it i know my daughter she really this are her chickens she wanted to make sure they had some sort of light out here since she says they can't see at night so made her happy makes chickens happy so it's a good thing uh, other than that, that's about it for this chicken coop. wasn't wasn't difficult for in the market making building a chicken coop. 
I'd say go for it. It don't take much. We did it. We started on a Friday and we were completely done with it on Sunday. And we didn't work very hard at it. Um, I'd say go for it. It's better than them $400 to $3,000 coops you can buy. Uh, basically worked on my garden too. Took the this the door it used to be over there, brought it over here, and then made access to my compost bins from the outside, which is kind of nice. But other than that, that's all I've done. Talk to you later.